from Boston. Attorneys for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange are vowing to fight his possible extradition to the United States following his arrest in London. On Thursday, British police forcibly removed Assange from the Ecuadorian embassy, where he'd taken asylum for almost seven years. Soon after his arrest, U.S. authorities unsealed an indictment accusing him of conspiring with Army whistleblower Chelsea Manning, who leaked a trove of sensitive documents to WikiLeaks, including evidence of U.S. war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. CNN is reporting the Justice Department's expected to bring additional charges against Assange. In London, Assange's attorney, Jennifer Robinson, warned the prosecution of Assange could jeopardize press freedom. This sets a dangerous precedent for all media organizations and journalists in Europe and elsewhere around the world. This precedent means that any journalist can be extradited for prosecution in the United States for having published truthful information about the United States. I've just been with Mr. Assange in the police cells. He wants to thank all of his supporters for their ongoing support. And he said, I told you so. Another member of Assange's legal team, the Spanish lawyer Baltasar Garcon, said he fears Assange may be tortured if extradited to the United States. Garcon spoke to reporters in Madrid. Chelsea Manning was subjected to torture, a special rapporteur on torture Juan Mendez revealed at the time. So we think it is the same case, and we have serious and founded reasons for thinking this could happen. Julian Assange was arrested shortly after the Ecuadorian government withdrew his political asylum. Former Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa criticized Ecuador's current president, Lenin Moreno, for what happened. Correa wrote, quote, the greatest traitor in Ecuadorian and Latin American history, Lenin Moreno, allowed the British police to enter our embassy in London to arrest Assange. Moreno is a corrupt man, but what he has done is a crime that humanity will never forget, Correa tweeted. At the White House, President Trump was asked about WikiLeaks Thursday. Do you still love WikiLeaks? Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. While Donald Trump claimed he knew nothing about WikiLeaks, he repeatedly praised the whistleblowing site during the 2016 campaign for publishing internal Democratic Party emails. This just came out. This just came out. WikiLeaks. I love WikiLeaks. We'll have more on the arrest of Julian Assange later in the program. Protests are continuing in Sudan following a military coup that ousted longtime leader Omar al-Bashir.